Hi, this is Derek C. Moss, Professor of English and Interdisciplinary Studies at SUNY Potsdam. Welcome to A Deeper Dive into African American Literature, a daily series of short podcasts produced in conjunction with SUNY Potsdam's Celebration of Black History Month in 2021. Each day this February, we'll be looking at and listening to the work of an African American writer whose name may not be as familiar as Frederick Douglass, Zora Neale Hurston, Langston Hughes, or Toni Morrison. But these writers' contributions help give us a much fuller picture of Black artists' roles in shaping American culture. Episode 10, Melvin B. Tolson. Many listeners may be familiar with Melvin B. Tolson from the 2007 Denzel Washington film The Great Debaters which depicted Tolson's experiences as an English teacher and debate coach in the segregated South of the 1930s. What may be less familiar are Tolson's extensive contributions to American poetry. Having deeply immersed himself in the poetry of the Harlem Renaissance while a student at Columbia University in the early 30s, Tolson soon thereafter became a poet in his own right. From the late 1930s until the mid-1960s, Tolson published numerous collections of sweeping, evocative verses that reflected both the black consciousness of the Harlem Renaissance and a broader sense of American identity, like that found in the poetry of Walt Whitman. This combination is particularly evident in his poem, Rendezvous with America, which was published during World War II and challenged the nation to realize the principles of equality and liberty that it was asking African Americans to defend with their lives during the war. Here's an excerpt from that poem. America can sing a lullaby when slippered dusk steals down the terraced sky, then in a voice to wake the Plymouth dead, embattled hordes of tyranny defy. America can join the riotous throng and sell her virtues for a harlot song, then give the clothes that hide her nakedness to help her sister nations carry on. America can worship gods of brass and bow before the strut of breed and class, then gather to her bosom refugees who champion the causes of the mass. America can loose a world of laughter to shake the states from cornerstone to rafter, then gird her mighty loins with corded strength in the volcanic nightmare of disaster. America can knot her arms and brow and guide across frontiers the untamed plow, then beat the plowshares into vengeful swords to keep a rendezvous with justice now. Sometimes Uncle Sam pillows his head on the Statue of Liberty, tranquilizes himself on the soft couch of the Corn Belt, laves his feet in the Golden Gate and sinks into the nepenthe of slumber, and the termites of anti-Semitism busy themselves, and the Ku Klux Klan marches with rope and torch, and the money changers plunder the temple of democracy, and the copperheads start boring from within, and the robber barons pillage the countryside, and the con men try to jimmy the constitution, and the men of goodwill are hounded over the land, and the people groan in the tribulum of tyranny. Then comes the roar of cannon at Fort Sumter, or the explosion of Teapot Dome, or the Wall Street crash of 29, or the thunderclap of bombs at Pearl Harbor. For more information about Tolson and more examples of his work, follow the link at the top of this page to the Poetry Foundation's website. Check back tomorrow at the link at the bottom of the screen for another episode of A Deeper Dive into African American Literature. While you're there, You'll be able to find links to all of the previous episodes in the series, as well as links to booksellers from whom you can purchase these authors' works. And please, if you've enjoyed this series so far, help us spread the word. Thanks and gratitude go out to Clifton Harkham, Jason Hunter, and Alex Jacobs Wilkie at SUNY Potsdam, as well as to David Summerstein and Bonnie North at North Country Public Radio.